Zombie found something! <laughs> What kind of droid is that? I don't know. I've never seen anyone like him. Let's get him back to Droid Town. The Colonel will know what to do. Check out that strange marking. Hey, Crunk. Were you able to repair our mystery butt? Of course I f***ing fixed him. It was a huge pain in the f***ing waistband, because he's some kind of custom jobby. But nothing I couldn't handle. Some of his memory chips were fried, so he'll need a new data upload. But after that, he should be as good as f***ing new. Huh. Does his ID chip still function? Yeah, says his name is Glitch. All right, Glitch. Welcome to the Droid Rebellion. Take our new fixer-upper to data upload and get him back online. Now, ladies! Yes, sir! Okay, just sit back and try to relax, Glitch. You might, might feel a little jolt, jolt but that's just, just us restoring, restoring your standard droid data bank memory. Iron Star, a planet at the edge of the universe, thought to have been built from debris and space scrap by a mysterious race called the Morbots. While they've never been seen, it is believed that the Morbots still inhabit great cities at the core of Iron Star, where they generate the massive amounts of power consumed by the planet's inhabitants. None dare enter the Morbots' lethal domain, and the mere mention of their name evokes fears of mutation, mutilation, or worse, deactivation. Over time, the surface of Iron Star saw the droid race grow and prosper by mining vast amounts of the planet's plentiful ore. The ore allowed the droids to establish an advanced industrial society which thrived for thousands of years until the droid's beloved Dr. Exavolt attempted to advance droid technology beyond its current limits. But his experiment went terribly wrong. An horrific explosion destroyed his lab and resulted in the creation of a powerful sadistic military bot known as General Corrosive. The remains of Dr. Exavolt were never found, but his memory lived on to inspire the next generation of droids. The evil General Corrosive rose to power and led his army of mill troops to attack the droids, sending their once peaceful nation into a tailspin of terror and destruction. The droids that remained were cast into slavery in the factories and mines of their mill overlords. Those who refused were immediately deactivated and recycled. As fate seemed to cast a shadow over the droid civilization, a ragtag band of bots led by the heroic Colonel Alloy were able to carve out one last vestige of hope, a single city known as Droid Town. It is here that the droids make their final stand, calling on all willing and able droids to rise up in rebellion before it's too late. Seal off those mines and bury those mills pronto. So, where are my heroes? Which of you brave troopers is up to the task? You're kidding me. You two are all that's left. Uh, sir, yes, sir. All the others are already out in the firefight, sir, or they've been, um, destroyed. Yo, you got a gun for one more? You got a screw loose, kid? What the hell do you know about fighting mills, newbie? Nada, but you got any other options, chief? Yeah, well, learn fast or die trying. Okay, stick with screwed and hosed here. They'll show you what to do. And while you're down there, help out whatever droids you find along the way. You can always use some new recruits. Now get a move on! Glitch. We've got to seal these mines to prevent the mills from discovering the location of Droid Town. Seal these mines at the far end to keep the mills from taking any more ore. Let's take this lift down and rescue as many mines as we can. Hey Glitch! Don't go down there! The mills are on a rampage! Glitch, stay 
close to hose to me. We've already had a few run-ins with the garage, so we can show you how to get out of here in one ch- Follow us. You can double tap your A button to gain the extra height you'll need to get up to that door. Chip, like this one. Use your Y button at the switch. Then we can move on. <laughs> 